This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group, and markets were under pressure right from the get-go this morning with continued weak economic data coming out of China, both their, their retail sales and industrial production showing continued weakness, and that just really flowed through here on the negative side. Then we got weak U.S. home sales, which last month had a decent rebound, but back down in the... Uh, you know, in the doldrums again. So, you know, showing some signs of weakness, showing, showing some signs of, uh, of cracks in the armor here, and really more weak economic data, which is leading our Fed to just remain on their dovish stance right now, keeping interest rates in check. So end of the day, that 2807, 2808 area in S&P, which has been that major resistance, continued to show that. Why are, are we going to be able to break through that tomorrow or next week? That certainly has been the, this area of resistance. Yesterday was a very busy day here at ES Options at the CME, and we had about 565,000 options traded and actually quite a number of calls. We typically see the put call ratio, about 70% puts, 30% calls. Yesterday, it was a 56% puts, so 44% calls. And in fact, the big volume leaders, the three volume leaders for individual options yesterday were all on the call side. They were March 28-25 calls, traded about 9,400 contracts. March 28-20 calls, about 8,200 contracts. And March 28-30 Call, uh, calls traded 7,900 contracts. So those were all the volume leaders yesterday. One day left to go this week and the ES options with volatility pretty low showing an expected move tomorrow of about $13 in the S&P markets and about $45 going out to next week. Bitcoin still in this very, very muted tight range of 38 to 3,900 or so, but volume seems to be picking up. In fact, today here at the CME, about 4,300 contracts traded, which is not an overabundance, but definitely an uptick from where we've been. So which way is this gonna break out? Are we gonna break out down below 38 or back above 4,000 or so? So Bitcoin has been very muted, but the altcoins, some of the altcoins in the cryptocurrency space, that's where there's really been some movement and a lot of them on the upside over the last day or two. Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.